Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we are trying out a new software called Lumina 4. Now, I have tried it out already. I just downloaded it today. It's been in my inbox. They reached out to me and said, oh, would you like to try out Lumina 4? I've watched a few videos about it. And just some things that it does that if you don't try it yourself, you just probably think, you know, it's all gimmicks. <laughs> nah, I can't do that. But I'm going to show you guys today. I feel like this software... Uh, plugin, whichever way you want to use it as a standalone or a plugin for Photoshop, I feel like it changes everything. Now, for me personally, I'm going to use it as a plugin with Photoshop and not a standalone software because you know I already have a lot of my things like um, stored in Photoshop. I this is my go to software, but let's take this image which was shot by my friend Albert Chime he's an amazing photographer in Ghana I'll put a link in the description to his page and he also put out some images for anybody some raw files for anybody that wants to um, try their hands on it so I'll put a link to his page in the description below you guys should definitely go check him out so now I'm just going to go to filter Skylum software and Lumina 4 so I'm just going to launch Lumina 4 it said Lumina 4 started just come down here and click Lumina 4. So now we have this image in Lumina 4. Now I have not used this plugin for a long time. I just used it today. Today is the first time and I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what this plugin can do. This is just amazing. So the first thing we're going to do and I feel like the most impressive thing to me right now is the sky replacement. The sky replacement is absolutely amazing so we're going to go to ai sky replacement now lumina 4 is touting the whole artificial intelligence thing and trust me it does it very well so this image we're going to give it a really dramatic look and now i'm just going to pick the one that i want so let's try dramatic sunset look at that it knows where everything is it follows it just i don't know it just picks out the skies right so let's pick something else. Dramatic sunset one. Ah, I kind of like this one. I think I might stick with the one. Let's see. Three. Uh, four. Five. Seven. Okay. I think I'll stick with. Yeah, I like one a lot. Now, as you can see, she is in focus, but the building is out of focus and the sky is in focus. So what we're going to do is go to advanced settings and now defocus our sky. Look at that. Look at how original this looks. This just looks like the sky came with the image. <laughs> it's like you shot it and the sky looked like this. This changes everything for outdoor photography if you're someone that never wanted to shoot outdoors because you don't have amazing skies and you don't want to go through the whole process of replacing skies this is just simple and easy all you have to do is just press a few buttons and that's it and we can do a few other things right here you can i, I don't know what all these things are but you know i'm pretty sure i'll figure it out <laughs> then you can relight the scene okay yeah you know, to match the sky. Ooh, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, horizon blending. This is just going to blend the horizon in. Okay, that looks really cool. So let's see where we started from. So you just click this eye right here. Before and after. I'm sure if you click this, it's going to show you the before and the after side by side. Look at it. But look at where we started from and look at where we are right now with this image. Don't forget, this image has not even been retouched. We're just trying stuff out in Lumina 4. And the thing about Lumina 4 is you can use lots. So if you've bought any of my lots, you can just use Lumina 4 to put it to put it on your image. Now, the amazing thing about using Lumina 4 is you can control the saturation of your lot and the contrast then also the amount. So let's pick one of my lots. Let's use 16 from the Creative Color Lots because I tried it and that's what works for this image. And now we can increase it. Look at how beautiful this looks. Um, we can decide to increase the contrast. We can reduce the contrast, but I'm just going to go with, you know, increase contrast. You can increase the saturation, reduce the saturation. Um, yeah, let's just increase the saturation a little bit. So we are going for a really dramatic image. And let's see our before right now. 
and look at our after look at where we are at right now by the way if you haven't checked out my digital store definitely check it out i have some amazing skin tone lots for dark skin light skin tones i also have some amazing lots for outdoor pictures my creative color lots and also my tropical color lots then i have my retouching essentials pack which has 14 amazing actions that you can use to retouch your photos so definitely check those out so yeah back to lumina 4 this is just mind-blowing i really love this this plugin so let's go to portraits let's see what we can do in portrait so let's go to portrait enhancer and let's just add some light to her face you know that's a little bit too much you know bring it down i don't think there's any other thing i want to do here i feel like what lumina 4 will do for you is after retouching you can just bring your image into Lumina 4 and add some finishing touches to it. Like, I'm definitely going to be applying my lots in Lumina 4 now and not Photoshop. This is the first plugin for Photoshop that I know for a fact that I am going to be using. So, let's go to Pro. I don't know what is here, but it has advanced contrast. So, let's see mid tone contrast. Is that doing anything? Yes, just adding some contrast to the mid tones, highlight contrast, adding some contrast to the highlights highlight balance okay shadow contrast i don't know <laughs> just so many things here you have photo filters you have color enhancer um color contrast oh okay that's just that's just crazy so i'm just going to leave it where it is i feel like what's brilliance <laughs> uh, if you take if you drag a slider you double click it's just going to go back so yeah there's i don't know there's just so many things you can do in here before and after i am genuinely excited about this plugin and i'm definitely going to use it for one of my beauty images i'm not going to do the full retouching in lumina 4 i don't think i'll get to that point anytime soon i'm still going to be using my photoshop to retouch but i'm going to tweak the image in lumina 4 probably just add some finishing touches to the image in lumina 4 so what i'm going to do right now is let's see fog texture overlay um let's add a vignette to this so i'm just going to add a vignette to this image let's go to advanced settings you can make this brighter then add your vignette add an inner light to it then the roundness Okay, great. Then you can feather it out if you want. Okay, great. So now with mask, I haven't started using the mask. <laughs> I would definitely do a tutorial about Lumina 4 and um, using the mask. Uh, I'll just probably show you guys how I use it. But for this image, this just works. So let's see our before. Like I said, this is just a quick overview of what Lumina 4 can do. So let's see our before and our after before and after. And um, if you actually check out Lumina 4, they have um where's that yes right here it has its own lot so if you want um you can use the lots in lumina 4 but i just can like prefer this one for this image so yeah it has its own lots in here too so yeah this is like really cool what's mr carl i don't even know what this is but might as well just add it to see how it looks <laughs> okay nah i don't like this so i'm just going to take it out so yeah this is it you can add some film grain to your image if you want to um can be advanced and reduce the size of the film grain and the roughness and just add a little film grain to this and yes i can tell you for a fact that we are done with this image this image is not even retouched and this is just me messing around in lumina 4 so i'm just going to click apply and Lumina 4 is going to apply it on our image, on our background image. <laughs> I did not duplicate that. If you are going to use Lumina 4, make sure you create a stamp visible layer so it does not just put it over your background image. So let's see our before and our after, before and after. This, like I said, changes everything when it comes to retouching. This is probably one of the best softwares slash plugins that has been released in a while i absolutely love it if you shoot outdoors a lot i feel like you should definitely definitely get the software i'm going to put a link to the software in the description below you guys can click that 
and just go download it for free i think they have it up for free i think i use it for free for a week or a couple of days i don't know but just click the link in the description below i'm excited about this big shout out to um skylum lumina 4 for sending this out to me to test i really really love it and it's definitely going to be one of my favorite tools now for retouching color grading everything anyways thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you guys in the next one have an amazing week peace